I'm back. <laughs> Hello, Ninetale Ninetales here today bringing you another Pokemon Black and White um, Pokemon Battle. I haven't been uh, uploading lately because I've just been too busy with school and other stuff, and honestly, Wi-Fi battling has been really boring lately. Um, this is not a Wi-Fi battle. This was from a tournament I was in this past Friday, and it was a mono-type tournament, and it was really cool. And I did pretty well, honestly. I'm using a bug team, and my opponent's using a dark team. And it may sound like I had the advantage here, but as you'll see, a lot of his Pokemon actually didn't, like, take a lot of damage from my Bug-type moves, and I didn't even get a chance to use a lot of my Bug-type moves. His Hydreigon actually doesn't take out my Butterfree, um, with the Flamethrower. My Butterfree is Scarf, that's why it outsped the Hydreigon. And I'm gonna set up some, uh, Stealth Rock, because I hear it's the most important move in the game, but, you know, whatever. It would have been really useful to use that uh, Stealth Rock against my team, because I have, what, four Pokemon weak to Stealth Rock enough to where it'll take away, like, half my HP. So anyway, I let his Bisharp get up a Sword Stance, and I didn't realize how big of a deal that was at the time, but if I had not let him get up a Sword Stance, that would have made things so much easier. I really should have gone for the Sleep Powder on it. But, you know, he takes out my, uh, Scyther with, uh, you know, the Sucker Punch. So that was unfortunate, and he starts setting up his Spirit Tomb. Uh, Spirit Tomb ends up being a little bit of a problem later in the game, but I'm not scared of it yet. I'm still setting up Entry Hazards because I think I might need them for some reason, but really I should have played my Fortress a little better, uh, because it could have done so much better, honestly. I send in my... Well, Corona, and I expect him to go for the Sucker Punch. I knew he was going to go for the Sucker Punch. He doesn't go for the Sucker Punch. So, I just wasted my Bull Corona because he goes for the Night Slash and takes out my Bull Corona. I went for Quiver Dance thinking he would go for Sucker Punch and it would fail, but that whole prediction just... He outplayed me there, I guess. So, his Spirit Tomb got up one uh, Calm Mine and then it gets Crit Dark Pulse, uh, but it still doesn't do that much because it's Steel Type Resisted. And I'm just going to finish sending, setting up these entry hazards. I really don't know what else to do with Fortress. Because uh, he really doesn't seem very valuable. I'd just rather him get taken out or something soon. So, my end mega gets taken down to a staff by a Sucker Punch. And I get to hit his uh, Bisharp. No, I hit the Spirit Tomb. Why did I hit the Spirit Tomb? I made some very uh, questionable plays. I would have... Looking back on it, I should have taken out that Bisharp with that bug buzz, because I bet I could have from that range. I really thought I could. But anyway, I know he's going to go for the Sucker Punch again, this next turn to take out my Yen Mega, so I'm going to actually withdraw and go into my Scizor, because I know Scizor has a pretty good chance of holding its own against Bisharp. Really, it's just this Bisharp that gave me problems the whole match. Uh, all of his other Pokemon were pretty easy to take care of with my team. Except for that Bisharp, which, you know, yeah. So my Gyro Balls are doing like nothing to the Spirit Tomb. Uh, I send in my Butterfree again, uh, predicting something, but I'm not really sure. He actually doubles up on my uh, Scizor this turn, like, his uh, Spirit Tomb is going to hit my Scizor with a Dark Pulse here. So that means my Butterfree gets one more turn out of this whole thing, and it might be able to take something out. He sends in his Weavile, and I can easily uh, kill that thing off with Bullet Punch, especially with the entry hazard's damage. So yeah, there was no hope for that Weavile, and I'm going to put the Spirit Tomb to sleep. So that was, that's actually probably going to help me a lot later on in the match. This match is only about halfway done. This was actually one of the longest matches that I had all tournament, and it was by far the hardest match. Well, actually, I did have to go go against a mono flying type team, 
which was really hard to take care of. But even then, I think I won with like three Pokemon left, so that was pretty good. So he, I, my Scizor's last stand is taking out the Hydreigon, which is awesome. And yeah, not much. It's kind of turns into like a little bit of stall fest here pretty soon. I get sending my Yan Mega because uh, I guess it's the best thing I have right now. I I let him set up. He sets up a substitute, but luckily I doubled up on the uh, Murkrow. And it's actually a Dream World Mur Murkrow that has Prankster, so it's pretty threatening. But now that I have him in range so that he can't set up a substitute, it's going to be interesting to see what he goes for next. He actually uh, goes for a Parish Song, which is going to be pretty interesting within the next few turns. I use a Bug Buzz to take out... Actually, I don't uh, take out anything with that uh, Bug Buzz. Really should have taken out the... something else then. Anyway. The Gyro Ball. That'll take out... that'll take out the Murkrow. Also, I'm running low on Gyro Balls at this point. Like, you only... you can only get, have a maximum of 8 Gyro Balls, and I actually do have 8 Gyro Balls on my Fortress, but... Uh... yeah. So, Butterfree has one more chance here. And he sends in Zoroark, and after the entry hazard's damage, I mean, Butterfree is not that powerful, but with a massive entry hazard damage, it can take out Zoroark from that range with a Bug Buzz. And the Dark Pulse is going to take out Butterfree this turn. And that's unfortunate. I would have rather him hit a Fortress with that, but, you know, what can you do? And these are... Okay, Fortress is my last Pokemon, and Spiritomb is, is his last Pokemon, and we're both uh, against the clock with the Parish Song, and yeah. So his Dark Pulse isn't doing that much, but I'm out of Gyro Ball, so I have to go for <laughs> Rapid Spin there, which obviously doesn't affect the Ghost type. And yeah, it looks like I could take one more uh, Dark Pulse, and yeah, but the thing is, he gets a critical hit there, and I lost that match. So anyway, that was a great match against Derek, I believe, and his Dark type team. He actually went on to win the whole tournament, which was pretty cool. Um, it would have been interesting to see if both of our parish counts fell to zero, because if it works the same way as like Explosion or something, then the person who used Parish Song would have lost the match. So, you know. It's a what if, and I don't really care. It was still a great match, so anyway. I might have more battles in the future. Honestly, I don't really like doing Wi Fi battling very much anymore. But if I come across any good battles, then I'll let you guys know about it. And comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.